Why do you think it is important to be familiar with classical music in terms of culture? Classical music requires a lot of discipline and focus. It is highly organized, it's very well balanced. And if you understand classical music, it somehow teaches you also to put order into your life, into your activities, into your thinking. And uh, it helps you to have a, a balanced perspective of everything if you understand how classical music is constructed. That's why we think that classical music is very important in everyone's lives, even if they don't become musicians as professionals. How big was the impact of classical music in terms of shaping the numerous genres of music we have today? Classical music being very highly organized and very highly disciplined has produced many masters in that particular genre of classical music. Now, out of this have come others who have ventured into other fields like popular music, sometimes because of economic reasons and sometimes because of public acceptability because somehow popular music is easier to understand and to accept. And most of the general public relates more easily to popular music because uh, popular music doesn't really require much, uh, I hate to say it, but not much intelligence to understand. It's easy to clap to, it's easy to hum, it's easy to dance to, rather than listening to classical music where you do have to have a little mental exercise in order to understand and appreciate it. Yet, the classical music has had a great impact in uh, training the propagators of popular music in terms of it has made popular music easier. Mm -hmm. Who do you think played the biggest role in revolutionized classical music at the time and why? I would consider the great grandfather of music, Johann Sebastian Bach and after him, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and others of his contemporaries. And then there's Ludwig von Beethoven. Beethoven sort of stands between uh, the Baroque music, which was spearheaded by Johann Sebastian Bach, epitomized by him, and the classical period out of which came Mozart and Beethoven. Beethoven was a sort of transitional composer. He also, in this latter part, became the doorway to romantic music. So I would say Beethoven was very important strategically as a bridge from the older music, Baroque and classical, and from his uh, beginning and middle periods, of, he, of which he was certainly a classic musician, but he also opened the door into romanticism, which led into our having Chopin, Mendelssohn, Schumann, Liszt, Brahms, Grieg, and all these other great robotic composers. Which period of classical music do you like the most and why? Within the classical music, there is, we have the periods that we have aforementioned, which is the Baroque, the classical music itself, which has led into the Romantic period and then to contemporary. Personally, I feel much affiliation with the Romantic period. It's maybe because I'm a Romantic person and uh, Romantic music has lush melodies, it has uh, expressiveness, poetry, as well as drama and virtuosity. And I feel that um, I can align myself uh, very uh, strongly with that, with both poetry and drama. And I feel that romantic music expresses this best for me. Oh, okay. Um, do you think classical music would be what it is now if it weren't for the advancements in the making of instruments? In about <laughs> Beethoven's time, his composition were getting uh, much stronger and much more advanced and much more developed so that he started requiring better and stronger pianos. So the piano manufacturers at that time 
had to design bigger and stronger, more durable pianos with longer sustaining melodies, better pedals, and uh, stronger strings that could take the stronger and better and more evolved music composed by Beethoven, which when the Romantics came along, of course also they required uh, newer and better and more refined means of expression so that the piano itself also evolved into a better instrument, bigger, stronger, more beautiful, better tone. So actually, because of the development of the composers themselves, the piano manufacturers also had to develop better pianos. And so that helped each other, the better pianos helped the developing better compositions and vice versa.